What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, and today we have the Super Mario Brothers movie van playset. So this is a folding playset that comes in the shape of the Mario plumber van that folds out into a very Mario level looking playset, very colorful, and it also comes with this awesome little minifig that looks like it fits exactly with the 164 scale Hot Wheels Mario standard cart. So I'm really excited to unbox this one, so let's get into it. So I was at Target tonight and they had an end cap of the new Super Mario Brothers movie toys and this was included in the van artwork right here. That big yellow van actually caught my attention. So I picked it up, started looking at it. I was like, hey, this is actually pretty cool. So I thought I would do an unboxing of it. And as a bonus, we can just compare the little Mario figure to the Hot Wheels size one, um, which I thought that would be nice as well. So. Um, just in the box art in general, um, it kind of looks a little plain, but it gets the job done. Like it was very eye grabbing, like attention grabbing because the big yellow van and then the fold out playset, it made me pick it up. I looked at the figure. The figure actually looks like it's decent quality. Like the paint job on it is fairly nice. Um, and then as I looked at it more, I'm like, okay, this looks very simple. Like it doesn't look like there's a lot of bells and whistles. It just looks like a regular nice Mario setup, but it's cool that it comes inside the van. I thought that was nice because um, when you collect both like play sets and vehicles sometimes it's hard to display each so to have a play set that folds up into a vehicle that you can display is a definite added bonus so um, I bought some of these smaller play sets before um, for the new Micro Machines one, and I'm going to say I'm not a big fan of those. I probably will not buy any more new Micro Machine play sets um, just because they have not been up to the quality that I wanted to or expected, um, especially for the price. So uh, the price of this one, um, made by Jack's Pacific, is $19.99. So that's really not terrible. Um, it's pretty much in the price range, especially um, because it's licensed, it's fold out, it comes with a figure and all that stuff. I didn't think it was too bad. I expected it between to be between $15 and $25 just because it's a movie tie-in. And it is decent size. It's probably, you know, like here's the standard cart. So it's probably three Hot Wheels long, you know, four or five high, a couple wide. So it wasn't too bad. So if you're looking for these, I will also put the link in the description. Um, if I can find it, I, I believe Target should have it on their app or their website. Um, if not, I'll just, I'll Google it and, and give you some information down in the description as always. So... Okay, well, the box is largely empty, so that's a little bit of uh, uh, the size, a little uh, trickery. Let's see. Look at the little minifig, though. It's so cool. Oh, does it come out? Like, right away, it's not even held in with anything? Oh, no! We <laughs> killed Mario. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I feel like I need to put the sound effect in. Oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, let me see if I can push it back from the back here. Oh, we killed the Mario. Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Oh, that's not bad. That's hilarious, though. I think people might be able to have some fun with the Mario head, like the uh, LeBron head from Space Jam. Oh, I like that it articulates. So he does, he can, like, drive. And I assume, like, just through the place that you can, like, jump and play with him. But that's pretty cool. All right, let's check this out. Oh, this is much smaller than expected. Okay, let's see this here. Very simple unboxing there. That's it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I thought this was going to be much bigger. All right, let's see. Let me get my knife again. Yeah, this, I, I expected this to be almost double the size just from the box. So even before we unbox it more, let's take a look at it compared to the size of the box. Mm -hmm. So here is the size of the box. And here's the, like, would you have thought it would be bigger? I definitely would. Like, I thought it would at least be, like, take up more room. I don't know. But let's go ahead and unbox it and see how the quality is and see the details. And that might help, uh, I don't know, the size difference with the price. It feels nice. It feels heavy, though, I will say. Um, it does feel nice. The detail looks nice. Like, that's an actual, that's a pretty nice license plate sticker. Um, I mean, all the paint looks decent. It rolls. Actually, it rolls pretty well. Super Mario Brothers plumbing. That looks cool. Luigi on that side. Okay, now let me just real quick check and see if there's instructions. 
Oh, because there are instructions. Because I want to, I don't want to do the set dirty. I want to do it right. So, okay. It's a pretty thick construction booklet for a little truck, a little van. Holy smokes. Okay. Number one, it rolls. Yeet. Number two. Okay. So you just pull the van. Okay. Pull this top down right here. Pretty easy. Okay. It's not bad. Actually, this is, I mean, it's pretty high quality. It feels good. So then it says you pull this side down. Is that right? Hang on. Let me look at it again. Okay. I'm gonna look at it with you. So just in case you lose your instructions, that's what it looks like. So yeah, number two is fold this side down. Right? Am I looking at that right? Yeah. Fold this side down. I'm nervous. I don't want to break it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Just like that. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay. Oh, does this come off totally? Oh, oh let's see. Let's look at the instructions. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's pretty. I mean, the instructions are pretty simple. Look at the little Mario. It's, it's go down the hole. So they all, I guess everything moves. So I'm going to put this back. I guess this just, um, like go tilts back and forth. It isn't supposed to come off. So I'll go ahead and snap that back into place. Come on. I don't want to break it. Okay, after a few seconds of messing with it, it was hard. It was too hard to mess with on like camera because I have to hold it in front of me. Um, so when I actually got it off camera, it just snapped back into place. No biggie there. So I think this folds out and makes another wall right here so you can't get past it. So it's actually like a Mario level. So when we look here, like I think the mushrooms all pull up like this. So they have like, it's like you're looking at it 3D, which is kind of cool. Um, over here, one of the tubes moves back and forth. Um, this tube goes down into that one, obviously, just like a Mario level, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. um, got the little folding wall there. Let's see what else. It's got the little spooky trees that pop up here that have detail from this side, but not from this side. Oh, um, which is kind of weird. They should have been like, in my opinion, they should have been, um, double sided because to have them open really to the play space, um, whichever way you're going, I would have just made those double sided. But the rest of the set looks okay. The gra the van graphic back here, um, the colors, the base, everything looks pretty good. It's heavy. The quality is quite nice. So I guess if you just, or you, I guess you just play with it. So it says like you, is this like a launcher? This might be a launcher. Let's see. Hang on. Let me read the instructions. All right. We're going back to the instructions. Okay. Yeah. So I think that is a launcher. And then that's how you put it back together. Okay, so it says put the Mario in here. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here. And then, is that how you do it? I guess. It's not very good. It's not a very good design. Boo. Oh, let's try it again. That doesn't work very well. So is all like, is that it? That might be it. Hang on. Yeah, that doesn't work very well at all. I mean, that's terrible. Yeah, that's how you do it. You're supposed to load them in there, arms down, hit the front of the cloud, and it launches. Ready? Boo. Okay. All right. So now that I've seen this, let me, let me try putting it back together and see the ease of... Um, reassembly, how that goes. As a as a toy to like, it's action, terrible. Um, zero out of 10 there um, because it doesn't, I mean, it basically you can't even play with the play set because it doesn't like, it doesn't give you good action. I mean, if it just plops there, the whole rest of the play set is useless. So um, while it looks good, it's made of high quality. This should have been like, like a trigger, like a spring triggered or a rubber band or something because it does nothing for the actual play set. But let's try. Yeah, this is more like for like this, like do 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 to play like that than actual like play like an activity, if that makes sense. Like um, rather than like a game with it or something like it's basically just like, like, I mean, it didn't even slide all the way through. So really this play set as a play set is a fail. But if you want to do dioramas or something, like if you're looking at it from a different standpoint, um, 
like this would look cool set up like if they have other figures um but as a play set uh zero out of ten because you can't even play with it how they how they do it right here i follow the directions exactly they don't i mean i i don't think they do anything because that's definitely how it's supposed to do how it's supposed to do let me let me double check the box let's double check the box okay make sure i'm not missing anything Yeah, so that's the only that's the only like actual motion it has is this little launcher right here, and it doesn't it doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna put it in just one more time and try it and give it a real good like. Mm. Oh, that worked a little better. Let's try it again. Nope. One more time, all the way back. Yeah. Nope. That's a okay on the playset again. Zero out of ten. Not good. So let's try to fold this back up. So it goes one, goes down like this, and then which is two, two. So this is three. Oh, you gotta fold the four, gotta fold the trees down, and five. So it folds up, it puts away very nicely. Um, I don't know what that is for. I guess just probably to hold it up while it's like in place that mode. Um, man, it looks good. It's a shame that it sucks as a playset, um, but otherwise it looks good. It looks good. The plastic is really hard quality. This weighs a lot, like for how it's very dense. Um, I like that it rolls. I like the Mario minifig, but in function, terrible. Um, so if you're buying it for the function of like playing Mario, I would say pass. If you're buying it on the nostalgia factor and how cool the playset looks set up, the mini Mario fig, the van set up, it doesn't take up a lot of room. I would say it scores pretty high um, in that aspect. Do I think it's worth $20? Uh, I, I think $14.99 probably would have been a better price for this. Um, and I don't base that off quality by any means because the quality is good. Um, the, the paint, everything, I think most stuff looks good on it. I really do. I don't think, um, I don't think really anything on it looks bad. I think they did a good job with it. I just think that the, the, the van design, this design, and then this came last. They were like, oh my gosh, how are we going to give this some action? Okay, let's make this like little thing over here that also fits inside the van. That that part is terrible. But everything else looks cool. They did a good job on it. Um, you know, I would have liked some extra detail over here on the trees or something like that. Um, but in any case, that's it's kind of up to you. So if you buy this for um, the playset factor... I, I would pass if you're buying it for just like a display factor, a little diorama factor to have a cool Mario van like this. I, I, I might buy it. I'm, I, I'm not mad that I bought it. Um, I think it looks good. I think it'll make a cool um, like little diorama piece for my like display tables. And I do like the minifigure. It's even more funny when his head pops off. But let's check out. Let's look at the scale compared to the Hot Wheels. So I'm really bummed. I thought he would bend. Um, but since he doesn't bend, it's hard to compare, but like, I actually think this does scale wise go with him. And I know they actually make Mario's for the cars, like in the, like the premium set, but I thought it was cool just to have like a Mario staining. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever bought or unboxed any of the actual Mario Hot Wheels, Mario figures, like carts with the figures, because I don't know if they come off or if they articulate like the legs move. Um, but since this one doesn't, it's kind of useless in this cart. It wasn't made for it. I just wanted to see how it would, it would go up against it. But with standing there, it's not too bad. It looks a little small. You could do some distant stuff, like put the photo like that or something. Because I'm, I'm into taking like diecast photos and stuff. That's not very good. Um, but it's cool, a cool figure nonetheless. So, well, that was the Jax Pacific Super Mario Brothers movie plumber van playset. That wasn't a long unboxing it wasn't very super detailed because there wasn't a lot of details to it and it was a bummer that it didn't work but overall it's not a terrible set um it, once you get past the functionality miss it, it's, a, it's a pretty nice little van here so let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're if you're going to buy any of the mario movie stuff because um, i know hot wheels is coming out with a little plumber van just like this in 164 scale and i'm sure we'll get some more action figures and stuff from 
from people like Jack Pacific. Um, but in general, I'm more, I'm happier with this set than I am the, the past two Transformers set that I've opened. So if that says anything, it gives you, uh, gives you luck or hope, um, for the Jack Pacific brand in terms of smaller play sets like this. So let me know what you think of this in the comments. I'll be looking forward to hearing what you guys say. And I really, I like this little figure here. So I really appreciate you watching Sam 64 wheels. Like, and subscribe as always. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Lambo group, discord and whatnot i will have the link to this if you want to buy it from target if if it's on the website or app um down in the description and then all the links to my social media and other playlists um whether it's a playset diecast or whatever will be down in the description below as well so uh, i really appreciate you watching now see you guys in the next one Ew.